Don't take me for a fool, boy. One of the things that scholars have been particularly interested in is understanding the ways in which enslaved Africans resisted. People say, well, if slavery was so brutal, why were there not more slave rebellions? In fact, scholars have now documented literally hundreds of rebellions that previously we didn't know about. Slave revolts happen multiple times in U.S. history. The most famous is Nat Turner's revolt in 1831. What are you niggers doing to my farm? He leads a series of attacks on white people throughout southeastern Virginia. Dirty bastards! In one case, they storm into a school and kill the teacher um, and about a dozen children. He basically says, who do you think these children will grow up to be? These children are groomed from a young age to be masters, to be slave owners. Get that loaded on the wagon. We have to understand also why there aren't things like Nat Turner happening every month of every year across the South. Quickly, come on, move. Enslaved people understand the balance of power. Move! The deck is stacked against them. Hurry up. Even when you look at rebellions that were really just rumors, the response was so violent. Hundreds of people would be imprisoned or lynched as a result of the suspicion of a rebellion. And they understand that even if they don't mind losing their life, they don't have the right to make that choice for their brother, their sister, their child, their parents. But rebellion wasn't the only way that enslaved Africans could resist. More common was what we've come to call day-to-day -day resistance, which was the seemingly small gestures to push back against the system. You think that's good? Yes, ma'am. Against the way the system demanded everything of the enslaved person's life. For instance, deliberately working a little slower, burning food or poisoning food, mutilating oneself so that one would not be able to do work, to learn how to read and to write, to sometimes just finding the power within that system to survive. It's time your family pay for